hello friends so let's get started with the swans drawing um, I'm going to do the sketching first and those who are interested for painting can click on to the painting tutorial um, and also this is a rectangle canvas you can do it on an A4 um, size sketch pad or a simple A4 full scale paper now um, so so easy way to draw a swan is just go for marking just make a Z shape or a Z okay you come here and go down that's it doesn't have to be very perfect shape so this is the skeleton of one swan we are going to make a, a mirror image of the Z this side okay and start here there you can make some points you can use a ruler to get the exact shape and we are going to make a reverse Z or Z. Okay. I'm going to connect this. Okay, so two Z's or two Z's. Now let's make the body of this one. I'm going to curve it up a bit like this. This side like this. A small curve. You can make it bring a bit closer. Then another curve. like that okay another curve around the Side again, one curve like this, another curve like that, or you can just make it look like a question mark. Now another curve starting from here. And then Okay, now don't, you don't have to worry about this area down there because it's under the water. And from here again a curve. That's the wing of the swan. There you go. So it makes sense, I hope. Now we can go for the down bit, a small curve there. And you bring a small triangle there. That's the swan's beak. Here, another triangle comes down. Okay. Make it a bit curvy there. Okay. 
Now, it's so time to rub off again a small curl there, the mouth area. Now, it's time to rub off, just using a bit dirty razor I have. This is borrowed from my kids. So, I'm just going to rub off this extra bits of lines okay. that's it okay now if it gets too dirty what you can do is just rub it off on your clothes I just take my cloth and this just rub that to clear off the dirt and everything okay and then you rub off I think this one's neck has gone too much inside so I'll just bring it up a bit now you can do the corrections later on if you think that something is not quite right so you can just bring it a bit the side and then there you go let's see quite happy with this one so I'll just go ahead with the details so I can bring a bit more curl to the head and also it has a peculiar black it has its eyes and the bee has a special shading there I'm going to shade that shade this area this has its nose and has got its eyes there because I'm drawing on the canvas the sketching won't come that perfect as you do it on the A4 or other sketching pads it's kind of bit smudgy so you can get better results if you're just sticking on only to the sketching if you do it on a plain paper avoiding the canvas and I'm going to do the beak again and the beak also has a bit of a black shade there you go now I'm going to do the, the mouth area and also the neck Again, coming back to the back of the head. So we're almost done with the neck. Let's darken it. Now the wings. beautiful white wings very elegant beautiful feathers and this area has come, got some details
tiny bit of the wing is kind of a bit tilted to this area. And now the bottom bit. That's it. We have got one swan done. Again, if you want to darken it, you can do the darkening bits, like shading and everything. It's entirely up to you how you want to make it look like. And then you can add some more shading details. Again, the down bit is under the water, so I have like kind of a line there. And you can bring the reflection down and also make it look like it's under the water. So. Now, working on the other one. Thing is, I'm right handed, guys. I always struggle with the stuff on the other side. But let me try. So, just going to go with the. Again, a small curve there. And. I'll go with. Again, the beak. Beak coming up here. Corrections. If you have missed or messed up with something, you can use the eraser and just go for the wings that side. And also the other thing. I think I'll go for a bit more wings there, and then. Um, and another part of it. And here, the shading. The end bit, the tail bit, the bottom bit. That's it. <sighs> more so uh, one more thing is I've seen some students they are just holding to the tip of the pencil and then they just make a very strong um, you know very bold marking with the pencil like that so I suggest all my friends please do not do not be very harsh with the pencil just leave it loose and just go for very thin lines so 
unless you are that confident and very professional. My granddad used to be a brilliant artist, so he could do with one line, one bold line, he could draw stuffs. Um, but I am, <laughs> I don't think I can do that. So I just let my pencil loose in my hands and I just go with very gentle lines so I can do corrections later on. I think that's the best way to approach any drawing rather than making any mistakes. Now if you make any mistakes with a bold line, it's very hard to rub it off. But if it's like a thin line, you can easily erase it and start off and your sketching pad won't look that messy. Okay. So just to give you some tips, just You are not very sure of your lines be as gentle as possible so that we can correct correct it later okay now let's go for the down bit now here we can do the shading under the water the rest and I can again go for the reflection and now it's in the water so for shading the water you can just go for some straight lines don't make shading vertical vertical lines will not make it look anything like water so always go for the horizontal lines there. so go for some lines straight lines Okay, there you go. And make this area look really dark. Okay. And this kind of doodling is also nice. Okay, I think this one has got a bit darker than this one, so we we'll just make it look a bit more dark work as much as you want on the sketching you can use the sketch pens or color pencils to color that uh, these beautiful swans um, you can leave it here and those who want to continue with painting can stick on to my other videos for the painting of these two swans okay and then Some shading with the wings, like this under area of the wings, you can shading. This one also shading, shading in. This one also. Okay, so if you have liked this video of sketching of swans, please give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe um, and see you in the painting video. Thank you.